Hey guys, welcome to another fly tying tutorial. Today's video is going to be over a shaky head and how you can kind of convert the conventional game into the fly fishing game. Because there are a lot of people out there that are misconceived that think that, well, you're only going to fly fish for trout in a river, which is completely bonkers in my mind because I love fishing for everything on the fly rod that I do conventional. I'll throw clouser minnows for uh, walleye and crooked lake. I'll throw uh, small crawls that look like Ned rigs and clear lake for smallmouth bass. I love going to the little dams, creeks, and streams and you know you find your shallow water on your lakes and you can throw some spiders or you can even nymph fish for bluegill and it just too many people are closed-minded and thinking that, well, you're only going to catch trout and grayling on a fly rod or salmon and steelhead because they live in a river. It's like, I take my fly rods everywhere. I take my conventional gear. Um, I'm not, you know, trying to bash anybody out there or anything. I just think people need to, you know, use their imagination a little bit more and be more open-minded instead of being so closed off about fishing. Um, and I'm not trying to say fly fishing is better conventional or conventional is better than fly. No, it has its days and it's going to be different every day. I just have grown into the fly fishing side of the sport so much more in the last few years just because I like the community behind it. Um, with conventional gear, most of it's either about, oh, I got 160 bluegill in a bucket today, which I think is ridiculous because I don't want to keep 160 bluegill. I'm gonna keep 20, 25 because that's plenty for me. But I mean, that's besides the point. Or like, you know, a lot of, I'm not saying all, but I'm saying most or half the fishermen out there are all about the big picture, picture contest. And that's just not what it's about either. I mean, it's just about having a good time and getting away from technology in the real world for a little bit and just, you know, fishing with your buddies and being with your passion, your favorite hobby, but, um, that's kind of what I wanted to get off my chest today. I appreciate you guys for watching, and, uh, thank you so much. Have a great day.